Archaeologists can glean a surprising amount of data from a single artifact, but they're always hungry for more to fill in the picture of past events. Now, scientists in Israel have added something to the archaeologists' toolkit. It's called archaeomagnetic dating. The technology has been in play for a while, but never to this extent in Israel. We have new technology, as you can see behind me, that enables a, a very large database. And since we have a very large database, we can compare many different sites by, according to the magnetic signal, and this way uh, reach a very accurate uh, dating method. That database consists of burnt bricks and pottery shards from conquered cities. The dating process relies on geomagnetic secular variation a fancy term having to do with the change in Earth's magnetic field over time. We're able to reconstruct the ancient magnetic field that was recorded when ancient cities were burnt on fire by military campaigns during biblical times. High temperatures and fires captures information about the Earth's magnetic field in stones. Unless those stones reach such high temperatures again, the magnetic field at the time of the fire would remain the same within the stone. Using that information, researchers reconstructed the magnetic field of Lachish. That city was sacked and burnt by the Assyrian king Sennacherib, who is mentioned in the second book of Kings. The researchers were then able to check biblical narratives against geomagnetic readings in the destruction layers of 17 different sites. I don't know about the researchers, but I'm not all that surprised. They all matched up with the accounts in scripture. 